all right welcome back to my channel hopefully you guys are enjoying your october month i am going to be canning up some wild grapes in today's video i also have a product i want to share with you guys today's video is brought to you by all joy heat and massage products i will leave a link down below if you guys are interested and i will go over that in today's video Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie if you're new here. So for today's video, we are going to can up some grape jelly. I went to my aunt's sister's house. She lives right down the road from us and she's always trying to get me to do new things. And last year it was rhubarb. So we did a lot of rhubarb. Oh, maybe it was this year. We did rhubarb. She also got me some plants. So I planted the rhubarb in the garden. Yeah. Was it last year? Okay. So we did that. And then she has different like trees and stuff at her house. And, um, but she's always trying to get me to do things that are, um, things that maybe I haven't tried or anything yet. And the other day she messaged me and she asked if I wanted to come and get some grapes so we went yesterday, I'll put a couple of pictures down below and you guys can see what the kids did because we had to climb up on ladders in different areas and knock down grapes because they are just like wild and crazy at her house. So I looked up a recipe and the recipe that I followed, I got from Pinterest. I've seen the same uh, recipe because we did similar things to this recipe. So she did pressure canning and I did water bath canning. So we'll um, show the rest of the video on how I process them. So I know there's other ways of taking the grapes off the vines and I probably was doing it completely wrong and I my fingers were all a mess, so they're still a little stained. Um, but we got it done. And then I, what else? So I did use pectin for this recipe. Um, I will leave it down below if you guys want to try it out. We do not have wild grapes, obviously, at our place. Um, maybe I can plant some next year, and then I don't know how long it usually takes for them to grow and take over. Um, we have different kinds of things in our garden. We have strawberries, blueberries. Didn't we like grab all like picked out apple I don't remember. Maybe. Yeah, but I think it was for the animals. I don't think it was necessary for us. Um, so yeah, we'll go over there and do some some things. But yeah, so we're starting to plant certain things in our garden but it's just going to take time for them to produce fruit and a couple two years ago i think it was when we got apples on our tree and then this year we finally got more on our tree so that is good um but it was fun to learn how to do this so i have made cherry and strawberry jelly and i didn't water bath can them i don't think i think that was just you just put them in the jar and you flip them over and they seal that way. But there must be something different with making wild grape jelly that you have to water bath it or pressure can it. So that's what I did. Um, it's still a little liquidy. So I'm hoping that it gets, um, you know, thicker as it sits. I know when I had the kettle, when the kettle was all done, that had some stuff on it. And Lauren made some a sandwich out of it and who else? Lachlan kind of took some off and it was fine on how it went on the bread. So yeah. So no, just, uh, just jelly you put on here. Oh, it was you that did it. Okay. Nash did it anyways. So I'm going to put these on the shelf tomorrow when they are cooled. And then I will put one in the fridge for us to try and enjoy. Um, but I'm going to put the clips in right now and you guys can see how I made wild grape jelly. Today's video is sponsored by All Joy Heating Products. They have all different kinds of heating products on their website. I'm going to review this heated blanket 
for you guys. So if you guys are new here, we are from Wisconsin and our temperatures drop pretty low. So it will be nice for us to have something like this in our house for us to use. The color that I chose was this nice red Christmas color. For this heat blanket, I'm gonna go over all of the functions on the remote in just a minute. Um, but if you guys are interested in getting one of these blankets, I can put the link down below and you also will get a code um, to get a discount on this blanket. The size of this blanket is just a throw size blanket, but it's pretty big. So I'm pretty short, so it covers me. But if you um, are looking for something bigger, this is still a good size blanket. So we had uh, the first night that we were using it, a couple of the kids were underneath it and warming up with it. So it's a pretty good size blanket to use. All right, so I'm gonna go over the functions with you right now and show you how big the blanket is and then what you need to do for uh, the remote. All right, so the actual size to this blanket is 50 by 60. I'm going to go over everything with this blanket and the control. If you guys are interested in getting one of these blankets, I will leave the code and the link down below and you guys can get one yourself. This is a perfect Christmas gift. I also wanted it to be red in color just because Christmas is right around the corner and it it was nice for me to be able to just pick out this color. So you will get a discount on this blanket if you follow that link and this would be an amazing gift for someone in your family. All right, so I just spread it out and it fits almost the whole length of my couch. Here is the control and on the control, it just has the on button, the time button, Button and the heat setting so I'm going to bring so that is just the time where like you can pick if it's you want one hour two hours three hours or four hours and then this is how hot you want the blanket to go so usually we put it all the way up to hot so as low and hot and then um, it also gives you where you can set how many hours you want it to be on so if you hold down the middle button it has a memory function in it, so you just have to turn it on next time and then it is set for how long you want it on. All right, so if you guys are interested in this blanket, I will leave the link in the code down below. All right, so we are gonna get started here. I'm going to be taking all the grapes off the vines. Now, if you guys know a simpler way to do this, leave it in the comments down below and that will be great because next time that I do this, I will do it a little bit different. I know already going into this that I was going to be making a mess, but I didn't realize how messy it was going to be. But in the end, I think it was worth the try to at least have this on our shelf for the kids and for our family. Um, so I did make a big mess and yes, my fingers got all full of it, but it did wash off pretty easy. So um, for this recipe though, it calls for four cups of grape juice. So I need to get all of these grapes off for me to be able to uh, cook these down. And what I ended up doing is soaking them in some water and vinegar. This is just something that my uh, friend told me to do first before I ended up cooking them down. So I just added a little bit of water and some vinegar and let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then I ended up straining all of that off and just kind of rinsing it off a little bit before I put them in the pot. Um, so what I ended up doing is just cooking them down for about 15 minutes. All right, so I'm going to add all of the grapes to my pot and then I'm going to add just a little bit of water. Not too much, you just want to be able to have something in there for them to cook down in. Now I'm going to try to I just use a potato masher, but you can use something else if you have something else. Um, but this worked out pretty good. And all you want to do is try to get a lot of the juice out of the grapes. I also am going to be using my water bath canner to make these 
or to make this grape jelly. So I added all of my jars into the water bath canner. Now I didn't really know how many jars that I actually needed for this batch, but I ended up getting around seven jars of jelly uh, with the mixture that I I had. So next time that I make this, I could almost double my batch and have a lot more for us. Um, so I would have had seven jars, but when I went to put the jars back in to water bath them, uh, one of the jars got too hot or something right away and it ended up breaking. So we ended up with six jars and that's okay. So what I tried doing is using my strainer thing that I got for doing salsa and for spaghetti and all of that. And I tried using the setting that I had for, for that thing. So it didn't work. It ended up like getting all bound up in there from all of the seeds and I ended up having to use a tea towel or just a regular towel to kind of squeeze everything out and get some of the juice out of the grapes. All right, so now I'm going to add my four cups of grape juice and I needed to add a little bit more water to get to four cups because I didn't have quite enough for this one batch and that's what it says in the recipe is to add a little bit more water if you need to to get to four cups all right so now i'm going to add my one packet of pectin i'm going to cook that just for a little bit and then i'm going to be adding my four cups of sugar all right, for the recipe, it also states that you need to cook each one for about a minute. So with the pectin, I let it cook for about a minute and then I mixed it well and then I added my four cups of sugar and then I let that cook for about a minute. And then we are going to be putting these in the jar and we're going to water bath these for about 15 minutes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and like I said, I will leave the recipe down below. So that is my first time making wild grape jelly and I think we're really, really, really going to enjoy it. It tasted so good when we were trying it in the pot. So we're all excited um, to do this. Now I didn't get a full four cups 
to do this recipe so it says in there to add water if you need to add more to get to the four cups so that is what i did and what else and then i added the pectin i added the four cups of um sugar and i think you can use it says in the recipe that you can use a low sugar pectin if you don't want to add all that sugar to it and then also you can make uh grape juice and we didn't have enough to make that so we will do that next time maybe next year we can go uh to her place and get more so but that is everything that i wanted to share with you guys today so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one